project you need to have a motor the motors i like to use are these black and decker motors they take four double a batteries but we'll convert them to take d batteries later um, the best place to get them so far is at walmart and they're eight dollars and 88 cents um, we need to tear them apart and uh, uh, rewire them and make them better for the uh, battle bots. I like this particular brand because of the easiness to take them apart. All you have to do is get a scratch all, pull out that pin right there, and uh, then the whole thing just comes right apart. Here's the motors in this section, and then all the gears are inside here. What we have inside is what we call a planetary gear system. If you look inside, those gears circle around. If you look really closely, there's another set of three gears down below also reducing the gear. So we have a really high speed, low torque motor going down to low speed, but high torque. I like the planetary gear system because there's always three teeth uh, in contact rather than just one in a simple gear train. What we need to do next is to remove the uh, the battery section like that. We won't use that so that can be thrown away. And then all we have to do is just crack open the case. And voila. What you want to do is you want to remove the motor and you'll see these little metal tabs. Those are going to get bent back. You'll then remove the whole switch mechanism. That's going to be trash. Then you have left over the motor with the two tabs. All right, so I got here about 10 inches of speaker wire, which you can separate. And then you'll have to strip the ends. Okay, next I'll twist the, all the wire together. And then on the motor, what I like to do is put the wire through the hole and then twist it around. Then later we'll solder that into place. After it's been soldered, then I like to put it back together so that the uh, that the wires are coming out the holes where the switches were. So I'll bend those up and around like so. And we put the uh, case back together again. Voila. And we are good to go. The next step I like to do, I like to actually cut them down. Right here there's the, the warning and the information stuff here. Um, I like to cut it off right at this bottom this last black line here. So I'll, I'll take that to the bandsaw and I'll cut that off. Okay, now I'll put the, uh, the head back on the motor. Notice that there are two uh, posts there and there are two grooves here. Make sure those line up with each other. 
and that the holes line up with each other. And uh, also, sometimes the, uh, the gear of this motor has a hard time fitting in the middle of the three gears there, and you kind of have to twist them around a little bit as you're putting it on in order to get it to uh, go back together again. So it takes a little bit of you know, tweaking to get that on just right. After that's on, then you got to put the uh, put the pin back in. Now, don't forget to put the plate in as well. So there's this plate that you got to put back in, and then you can put it. On. Okay. After everything's put back together, um, you should have you know, the wires off of each side. Those will. Those will be how you get the power to the motor, and all you have to do is uh, find some way to remote control the uh, the power to the motors and get forward and reverse. You need two of these per battle bot.